It's your boy Carcino, man, and I'm telling you, camera guy versus Guerrero or Guerrero versus camera guy. Camera guy went crazy last night, and man, I was up going off, screaming, yelling, camera guy. That fight was 115-113 for Guerrero, but let's assess the fight. From the opening bell, you could see that camera guy was using a whole different style against Robert Guerrero that he was used to seeing. He applied the pressure and stayed on him and he was using the shoulder roll a lot. <laughs> he actually shoulder roll better than Andre Berto. <laughs> and then he was being slick, avoiding some of the shots, making Robert Guerrero work. So Guerrero had no choice but to get into this firefight. And when he got in it, there was no way out of it. Camera guy stayed all on him. And then, then he was just landing the right hand at will. Because Robert Guerrero keeps his left hand really low. He don't even guard against the right hand. It's over, overhand rights was, had landing all night long on that eye. And man, that uppercuts was monstrous. Then you can see this guy was going to the body, left, up top. This is easily one of the fights of the year. Easily one of the fights of the year. Cause camera guy was all over him, and he wasn't letting him. He wasn't letting this guy escape. Oscar De La Hoya at the end of the fight had to grab camera guy and say, "Look, you coming back? <laughs> I got a lot of stuff lined up for you. Cause Golden Boy needs you. We need camera guy. We need him right back on the scene. And I know I just made money betting on camera guy. We're gonna bet him again. Come on, camera guy." We gonna get right back in there. We gonna get another title shot, and we gonna get it back cracking. He didn't got me inspired even this morning. I'm up now. Nah, they can go and do whatever. I'm up. Let me go get myself prepared. Now I'm gonna sit back down and watch some more camera guy.